Hey everybody, I'm back. How's it going? Um, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I was just live a second ago, so if you're popping in live, hello, welcome back. I did a jewelry jar just a moment ago, but I got a really cool box from Rose. She sent some amazing jewelry and some other friend mail, and so I wanted to share the jewelry and treasure tre treasures, if I can get the word out, that she sent because I just, yeah, I'm really, really grateful and I appreciate it so, so much. So um, let me go ahead and start sharing some of the things that she sent. And I just realized I don't know where to put it. I don't have anywhere to put it. Let me scoot this over. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I do lots of videos about ways to make money online. Most of the time it's selling on eBay and Etsy or you know, print on demand type things. You don't know, that's what I'm telling you. And um, yeah, so I do a lot with jewelry. So I hope you will consider subscribing. And hello, everybody. I see some friends coming back. I am live, so I have a side. I didn't pull the side chat up on this video for you guys to see because I was trying to just get get moving with it. So, all right, <laughs> get jiggy with it. All right. So first thing when I opened the box, the first thing I noticed was this, which I think originally was like um for a curling iron, right? To carry a curling iron in, but inside of it, it's filled with awesome bracelets. So there's some really cool wooden bracelets. Look at that, so cool, right? So this really cool wooden bracelet in there. Then there is another one that has all these impressions of butterflies. Very nice, very nice, cool. Hello again, everybody in the chat. <laughs> I went ahead and just hit live instead of setting up the OBS because it took longer. So I thought I would just go ahead and flip it on. We've got some more cool bracelets. And this is another one. I always like them that look like this. I like those a lot. And here is one that is really spangly in the bag. I'll have to peek at it and see. It doesn't look like it's missing any. Oh, maybe. No, no, no. It doesn't look like it's missing any of the stones. So very cool. We're talking about jewelry. These are these are this is some jewelry and stuff that Rose sent. So she always sends really cool stuff, and I'm so so grateful. Okay, then we have a bag here. Let's see what's in this bag. There's a few different bags. We've got this. It it's trying to look like celluloid. It might be. I'll have to look at it a little closer or see if it's just plastic or celluloid bracelet. Cool. Might be celluloid. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, then, oh, this is nice. Okay, look at this bracelet. So it's got this, okay, brass and silver, and then it pops open like so. That's really cool. And then it closes back up like that. That's a nice bracelet. Oh, I like it. Then we've got a watch. And this is a, an old Timex, very cool. And let's see what else we've got. We've got this nice Napier earrings and necklace set there. I know two shows in a row. I wanted to do roses on its own instead of just kind of tacked on. I wanted, to ha I wanted, I wanted it to have its own. And I, I was holding on to it because I went to my sister's. This is really pretty. I went to my sister's place and I didn't get a chance to share it. I, I should have brought it with me and had Elaine do the box with me. I don't know if you can tell in the light, they're, they've got this, there you can kind of see it, that kind of aurora borealis to them. And with the pinks like this, you have to tell me if it's the same, if it's considered the same. I think it is. So the, just the ones in the center though have that kind of pink iridescence. If you can see it, that's really pretty. And it's not missing any stones, is it? Nope, no, it's not. Along the side, every other one is, has got that kind of iridescence. Isn't that nice? Looks like it's missing a stone on the bottom. Oh, I see. It looks like, look, something has been put in there. It's like a little spike. So maybe somebody put something in there as a placeholder for it? I don't know. That's a new one on me. Then there is another watch in this bag, like so. That's cool. It's different, it's different. And some cool earrings. Oh, I like the back on these. 
that sort of 80s style. But look at these backs. Those are some serious backings. Very, very cool. I'm trying to see if they say something. I can't tell. Nope. Okay, just a little dot. A little dot. Okay, then, oh, look, it's a little kitty with glasses. That's so cute. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got to get a battery for that. <laughs> nope, yep, got to get some batteries to get that thing going. So there's a few other watches in here. Let me see if I can pull them out to show you. There's this one and this one. Now, watches are something I have to learn more about. I definitely have got to do some homework on that. But I like the band. It's got a really cool band. Nice. Okay. Then, also in here, isn't the kitty watch cute? This, one, this is the watch bag. <laughs> There's a couple others. Let me share those. Like so. And I'm trying to see what else we've got in here. Some earrings. A chain. A really cool chain. I'm trying to get this earring off this chain. This cool gold tone chain. And I thought I saw, nope, no mark. I thought I saw a mark on it, but maybe it was on something else in here. There's some cool stuff. Oh, look. It's a little engraved M pendant. Very cool. Where is my magnet? I don't think it's really gold, but anyway. Those bags are not like the normal ones you see every day. Which ones? Hang on, I missed something. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, let's see. There's some, I'm trying to see if there's any mates to some of the, yeah, here we go. Look at these. Ah, hang on. All right, so these little enamel heart earrings I think are adorable. Those are so cute. Cute. And so down in here, there's some more earrings. I probably should have made it, mated them up before I started showing you. It made it easier. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I think, is to go ahead and pull out another one of the bags. You should have a big watch collection because I see I do. I have a big basket full of watches that I need to go through and actually start learning about. But I'm so nervous to like start lotting them up and selling them off because I think, what if there's a really nice watch in here and I just don't know? It's true. It's true. Okay, so there's this necklace, which I really like. I enjoy selling things that are like mixed metal. Looks like I see it. Oh no, it's just a scrub mark tarnish, but on here it's Leah, so Leah Sophia brand. It looks like, pardon me, looks like so. Leah Sophia. Hello, hello. Um. <laughs> okay, and then this bag is labeled parts. So I'll just have to kind of pick through there or have my sister pick through there because she does a lot more like crafts and making wind chimes and stuff and see if there's anything in there she wants to to use. Because I know Rose said there was something in there for Elaine. I just have to, I just have to find it. Ah, Christine says, look for brands like Belova, Wittenauer, Accutron, etc. Love watches. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Melissa says, used to sell Leah Sophia. They're expensive. Hearts mean broken or beads, right? Yes, yes, I think so. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, so it's got this, and it kind of sp spins around, like, maybe. Anyway, we'll figure it out. So there's that. And then, oh, wait, there's something else cool in here. So it's this oh, little bird like Native American style. It looks like it used to be on a earring or something, but the earring is gone. This must be more parts and stuff. Yeah. Still fun, fun, cool stuff. Okay, next up we have got this bag here. I see some earrings and bracelets. Some of it's like, that spinny metal. Oh, yeah, it looks like you can make a necklace out of it. Totally. So we've got some fun earrings. Like so. They're day of the week earrings. 
And it looks like all the weekends are, all the days are there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and weekend. Those are fun. They're all there. That's good. So then these are some like zebra stripe earrings in there. There's a lot in here. I don't know if I can pull everything out. How about, because how much do we have in there? We got a bit. Er, how about this? I'll pull out some of it. Because some of it's like um, like jelly bracelets and stuff, which is cool. Ah, feathers. Feathers. Okay. I'm pulling. Hang on. So there's some of these in here. But, you know, there are people that like them. Some Sometimes you can find ones that sell well. Sometimes they're just for fun. <laughs> so fun is fun. And... When I taught, they were they were handy to have in like the treasure box. The kids always enjoyed getting them from the treasure box. I'm trying to pull out this pink necklace, which I think is fun. If I can get it, hang on. I've got things falling on me. How weird, I've never seen those earrings before. Yeah, all the days of the week are there, isn't that cool? Okay, cool. Okay, here's another cool bracelet that is like this. Very cool, little cuff. And then <laughs> I really like this pink necklace. If I can get this other piece off of it. Okay, look at these hearts. So it's three, yeah, three different colors of pink. Super long. Oh, this is fun. There's the clasp. It does have a mark on the back. What does it say? Oh, Hong Kong. So most likely vintage. Because a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of jewelry and stuff was made in Hong Kong a while back. So there's that. One second. What's up, Shika? <laughs> Just turn it down, okay? Okay. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, any missing pieces? No? Okay, so a really cute little heart bracelet. And it's got, like, these abalone inlays. That's really pretty. Because normally when I see those, they're gold tone. And not, I mean, rather silver tone, not gold tone. And normally the abalone bits are more that like blue, green, black. And these ones are more pink. That's really pretty. And this one is marked Korea on the back. So very cool. Isn't it cute? Looks like Marty. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, there's, there's some in there, but still. Oh, and there's a cool rosary. You know, I like rosaries. So there is a red and white rosary there. And I always like to check because sometimes those crosses can be Bakelite if they're old enough. I've seen Bakelite ones. There's a cute Paul Frank. Is that Paul Frank? This is Paul Frank, right? There are people that click Paul Frank stuff if it's old enough, certain things. And that's got his name. What is his name? Julius the monkey. All right. Some more of these stretchies. And that one looks like Winnie the Pooh, but maybe, maybe it looks like knockoff Winnie the Pooh. Um, I don't. So we've got a scrunchy headband. Hmm. Like, do I need to clean this? Do I need a scrunchy headband? I might. <laughs> one of my headbands went missing. Remember that? I used to wear that pink one that had like the flowers on it in some of my videos. I lost it. I can't find it anywhere. I don't have a daughter to blame it on either, so. Oh, fun. Okay, can I get this separated? Hang on. Are you supposed to be on there? No, you're not. Let go. So look, look. Okay, so this necklace has got little fruit on it, like little plastic fruit. Can you see? There's like a little banana. I think that's some corn. I don't know if they're faded or if they're supposed to be this light in color. There's a little, what is that, a strawberry or an apple? So that's a pepper. It looks like a pepper, maybe. So yeah, that's fun. I'm wondering though, like, are they supposed to be that light, or have they just faded with with age? The bananas are bananas are still kind of yellow. Maybe it's faded, but fun. <laughs> okay, what else we have in there? We've got some more spangles and bangles. Bangles. It says bangles. In case you weren't sure, bangles. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know the hair stuff is. I don't normally wear hair stuff, and that I. But sometimes I'll find some really nice, like clothes and neighborettes and things. So, those are maybes. Let's see. I'm looking for something in here. I'm digging around, 
just a cute little ring, a little heart, kind of heart-shaped ring. Yeah, that's cool. Looks like something a kid would make. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, I think it's fun. That's what counts, right? Having fun. Treasures. I'm digging through to see if there's anything else I want to pull up to show you or go to the next bag. Oh, look, American Girls. That one is Samantha. She's a popular one. I don't know if American Girl pins would sell, but hey, you never know. This one's kind of cool. It's got these wooden flowers. That's neat. They look like little cookies, don't they? They look like little gingerbread cookies. Right. Okay, next. Okay. I'm going to call it on this one. And, oh, I don't oh, know. That is an earring. Okay. I wonder if the mate's in there. That's kind of fun. I bet the mate is in there because I know Rose. She normally puts stuff together. I think that would be really cool for like beach, you know, or cruise wear. It's got all the colors. It's cute. Okay, let me put this in here and I'll pull out the next one. So there's that. I'll just give you a close up of the other stuff in case you're like, oh, oh wait, what's that little penguin? That's cute. Is it a little ring? I didn't see you in there. Are you a ring? What are you? Oh, hang on. I see something else I want to look at. It is a ring. He's like a little owl or something. Isn't it so cute? He's saying, hug me. Mwah! Like that. <laughs> okay, no, I won't eat it. Not for real. And then there's a little, what are you? You are cute. So this looks like cell phone jewelry, back when cell phone jewelry used to be a thing. And it's like a zebra. No, no, like a giraffe, pegasus, no, pegacorn. What are you? Okay, so it's got all of these little, is that Kid Robot? I gotta look that up now. Because one of the little characters kind of looks like one of the Kid Robot characters. One of the little faces. It's got like a skull and crossbones. It's got wings. It's got a horn. And what does it say on the bottom? Where's my thing? Because there are collectors for Kid Robot stuff. It says, I can't read it. Oh, I can't read it. Something limited. <sighs> I may be looking too far into it, but I'm going to see because I, I know what that face is. One of the little faces. That one right there. I've seen that little face before. So, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. See if I see anything else now. What does that say? Laugh out loud. <laughs> okay, next up. Let's see what's in the next one. Uh-oh. I missed. So how are you guys doing in the chat? The cat took it. Yeah, my... This one. What have here? Ooh, okay. Here's the next bag. Looks like we've got some more fun stuff in there. We have got these... Little pendants. There is a smiley, smiley flower. There is what looks like a hematite dolphin and some yellow roses. Hats off to tops. I'm trying to think what tops stands for. Like that, right there. Right there. Cool. Okay. Ooh, hang on. This is a serious necklace. We have got this. Silver tone bead. Look at that with all these spikies. That's cool. Oh, okay. That charm is Tokida Tokidoki uni, Unicorn. No, I can't tell if you're joking with me or not. <laughs> the skateboard brand blind. Okay, okay. Yes, thank you. And I know that brand. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. I was like, I know that face. Okay, the earrings you're wearing. Oh, thank you, Kaylee. Tops, oh, okay, cool. I could put someone's eye out, right, Maggie? <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Thank you for that, guys. I'm gonna have to look up the little um, peggy corn. Peggy corn? Unicorn. Okay, this is cool. So this one, if you look in there, 
it's like do it yourself, you know, add your own picture. I guess it's got the prongs and everything. And I guess you could add your own stone or picture. It doesn't have a glass in the front, but that's okay. You can just stick it in there. Is there a lip? Yep, there's a little lip in there. That's pretty cool. I haven't sold anything like that before. Hello, bum crack picker. Finally found something to watch, huh? <laughs> okay, then, oh, this is really pretty. So a really pretty crucifix. There, that's really pretty. Yeah. Not see any marks on it, but that's cool. That's cool. They look like the ends of spoons. Yep. Uh, nope, not kidding. They're very collectible. A collectible vinyl tour here is popular in hot stuff. Okay, thanks, Griffin. Okay, then <laughs> I never seen your name before, so I was like, are you just throwing things out there? Because I'm like Ron Burgundy and just we'll read whatever's on the teleprompter. <laughs> All right, we got a little girl necklace or a bracelet rather. It's a little teeny. The magnet's not very strong in it, so I'd be worried it would just pop off and they would lose it and then cry. So <laughs> if you're <laughs> if you're a sadist and you want to make children cry, don't put magnets that are strong. <laughs> okay. You gotta think these things through before you start saying them, Margaret. <laughs> or not. Alright, next up we have this shell, which looks kind of like an eye. I'm sure there's a name for this kind of shell, and I, I have just the friend I can ask. So, my friend Jason and his mom, Peggy, are really good with shells and stuff, so I bet I could just, what is that? And they'll tell me, and they'll know. It's very cool. Okay, so there's that. It's not the normal shell. It almost looks like one of those hats, you know? Yeah, oh, okay. I dropped a little ring. <laughs> Okay, so next up, ooh, I love these. Okay, little glass beads. It's got the flowers inside. What's the name for that? Oh my gosh, I'm having a brain freeze. I can't think what that's called. It's not dichroic glass when it's like painted like that in there. Is it? It's not. What is the name for that? Because it's not on top. It's inside the glass beads. Those are really pretty. Yeah, you can see like it's in there. I know one of you guys knows <laughs> what that is, barnacle? <laughs> the shell is a limpet, Allison says. Oh, cool, thank you. Oh, what's that? You know when you get something in your hand and it keeps moving and you get worried? But it was just, it was a chain. It was just a chain. Ooh, okay, so this one is glass, and then it's got what looks like those, <sighs> Mil not millifiori, is it? No, that's the little tiles. Oh, gosh. What is that called? Y'all, I can't think of the words today. I think I, I can only, I only have so much space. It's not a barnacle, it's a limit. Okay, there you go. Okay, so there's this. Uh, thanks, Melissa. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it's like those. Rah. Okay, y'all are all gonna have to help me with words today, apparently. Millie Fiore, okay, okay. Yeah, like the Murano glass, but it's got like the things. Is it Millie Fiore? Was I right? Oh my gosh. Mosaic, yeah. It's not like the micro, is the Millie Fiore the micro mosaic? That's something else. That's something else, right? Okay, uh, again, I just get mixed up with stuff all the time. And that's okay. Okay, so here's this, little bunnies. It's a brooch. Yay, thanks, Bougie Bear. Yay. <laughs> Okay, and then we've got what looks like, do you think it was like a shrinky dink, maybe? With somebody's wildcat, it's just, but an N. I don't know what school that is. That's fun though. Okay, inlay type bead. Okay, we've got another shell pendant over here. Oops. And let's see what else. Oh, this is really pretty. We've got this cross pendant. Look at how beautiful that is. Very intricate, like the woven, the floral filigree part. Yeah, cool. Okay, and then also in here, I'm kind of digging around. <laughs> We've got something that's kind of like some brass knuckles, but for nice girls. <laughs> brass knuckles for the nice girls. They'll never see it coming, ladies, right? So, oh, do they have little eyes too? Cute. So they're, are they smiling? 
Uh, anyway, so there's the this ring that has little flowers, little roses. Cute. I can get it off. Micro mosaic is a little house. Okay, okay, that's right. And then there's these little cute brass knuckles. <laughs> Mele Fiore, they're cut off multicolored glass rods. Okay, that's that's what those ones are. That's what what's in there. Those little Mele Fiore things, right? Okay. I tell you what, there's so much to know. There's so much to know. Okay, then. There's another big old ring in here. It looks like it's missing a stone in the front, but that's pretty cool. Big ring like that. That reminds me of a pendant that we just saw in the last video. And then, I think I've had something similar to this. Hang on, let me get this out. It's It looks like a giant crystal, but it's plastic. Do y'all remember? I had a necklace, probably still have it. It's probably still in my workroom. But there were like several of them on there. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Okay, are you guys watching over there? Treasure buddies. <laughs> oh, okay, so, okay, there's that. Uh, let me kind of flip through here real fast and see what else I see. See what else I see in here? A little quilty brooch. Looks like a little cat or fox quilted in there. Um, I did not, Dawn. I did not. I came home and I went to bed because we were on the road for a long time yesterday. So I was glad to be home. Hang on. I saw something in here I wanted to show you guys for sure. And now I've lost it. Uh, there's a little cute penguin. Oh, it's earrings. Little penguin earrings like so. And I feel like I'm forgetting. I'm missing something else. But I want to move on to the next one. Hang on. Hang on. Some little rings falling down there. I'll grab them. Okay, so then we've got some little rings. Oh, there it is. Okay. Some little rings. And then look at this one. Oh, this is a Premier brand. And this is the one that comes up a lot. We get this mark a lot. But look how pretty that is. The little flowers. So if you see the brand... And it looks, let's see if you can see it in there. It's like these laurel leaves coming out like so. And then there's a crown on top and it looks kind of like a P and a D kind of cursive-y. So that's Premier Designs. It's kind of like a, you know, like an Avon type. <laughs> if you sell it, sorry if it sounds bad. You know, like, you know, you have parties at your house to sell Premier Design Jewelry. It's not like you go to the store and buy it. You have little Premier Design parties. Like Mary Kay or Cabbie's like that too, I think. Like the clothes, Cabbie. That's expensive stuff, by the way. I went to a Cabbie party once. I did not buy a thing. It was expensive. It was expensive. Oh, I think this is Elaine's. Yep, it even says her name. There it is. Elaine, let's see what you got. You know, I know you're not there. Similar to Avon, yeah. Okay, this is for Elaine, who will be here Saturday. There is a little pin that says Elaine. Y'all have got to watch that video that we did. It was so funny. She was she was off the charts funny. There is a stretchy B pin. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, she's gonna flip. She is gonna flip out. If you don't know, my sister's a beekeeper. And she does bee removals, and I'm trying to get her to set her business up straight so she can really, you know, she's really, I think she's really good at it. She's got a passion for it, and she's doing things. I'm like, you've got to get this ball rolling. You're doing great with this. Um, and she's making, she makes wind chimes out of, like, sterling silver, um, silverware, and then other stuff, like glass beads and things. So they make really pretty noises and things. I'm not very... <laughs> I feel like I'm not describing things very well today. So we've got some more beads for her to use in her sun catching wind chimes that she makes. That she makes. Okay, then there's another bee. I'm trying to get it. It's like an ornament. Oh, see, and she's, I, I'm trying to talk her into making YouTube videos too. She's like, I've got to get my room finished setting up. So she's like painting a wall in, the, in her office and she's going to, 
get her backdrop all ready and told her, you just go out there and film some bees. <laughs> so I could see this going on her, her wall in her room. And then let's see what else we've got here. This is for you, Elaine. Some more beads, some pretty beads. And da, da, da. Oh, some little owl beads. Oh, she's going to love those. She's going to love it. Oh, Venetian beads. Okay. You would love to see the wind chimes. I should have taken some pictures while I was there. Here's some more little owls. <gasps> she is going to love these little owls. They look like they're right up her alley. All of this stuff, really. But And then there's an, oh, these are so cute, Rose. She's just going to flip. Look at that little bee. <gasps> so cute. And then what are we in here? Some little pins. I'm trying to grab a hold of them. Hang on. There. Ah, okay. Then we've got this little bee. It's either a pin or an earring. But that's okay. Either way. Another little bee. Oh, Elaine's going to flip for these. And then this has got like a little crown. It's a single earring. But I think it's cool. It's got a little key, a little crown, and a heart. So she's like the queen bee, right? Yes. Okay, so that's Elaine's baggie. She's going to be so thrilled. Oh. Where are you, Elaine? Why aren't you here? So I can show you all this stuff. I should have taken it. I should have taken it with me when I went up there. Oh, well. Okay, keep going. How are we doing? 47 viewers? Not doing okay? So we've got a few other loose bits, like so. What else do we have in here? We have got, oh my goodness. Another cool bag full of treasure, all sorted out. What is that? That's cool. Okay, I'm going in. So, I'm not going to be able to show everything because it's a lot of stuff. But I'm going to try to show. Hang on, it's kind of tangled a little bit. So, I saw the mate for this earring in there. Isn't that cool? And I don't see, oh yeah, I do. I see a mark. Maker's Mark, we got quiet in the chat. Are y'all able to list now or is eBay still acting weird? Sarah Coventry, okay, cool. So Sarah Coventry earrings. And then here's some with the little eyes. They look like the little eyes. I bet Elaine would like those too. I'm gonna put those in Elaine's bag. Because <laughs> I can see her liking those. And then we have got I'm going to kind of dig around. Ooh, these are pretty. These ones, they have this Art Deco look. Can you see it? They look kind of like that cobalt blue. I don't know if, you, if it's catching it in the light there. Anyway, those are cool. And I'm looking for a mark. No maker's mark. That's okay. <laughs> Kaylee says, hit the like button, everyone, if you like these. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, got cookies? I think this is a Girl Scout thing. I bet. Well, it says Target Marketing, but I still think it's a Girl Scout thing. Maybe they got some cookie cookie pins made. Ooh, okay. But oh, this is really pretty. Is this the not the loot? Loot? The leer? The liar? I'm saying it wrong. So there's that. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. That's unusual too. I don't see things like that very much. And then this is. Oh, who is this guy? Is he from, um, oh my gosh. He's a naughty kitty. Here's a hint. It says Disney on the back. Whether the Disney sticker was added later or if he really is a Disney character, I don't know. He's got some, <laughs> thanks, St. Christine. She says, I don't like bees, but I like Margaret. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, I think Granny's home. Okay, these ones are flaking a bit, so they're not real pearls, but they are real pretty. And we've got some little blue, these are pretty, I like these. Really blue cobalt cabochons on there, like so. If the house alarm goes off, pardon, it may. It didn't go off. 
Oh wait, now it's going off. He's turning it off. Okay, some more little glass beads, which I'm going to set aside for Elaine because I know she'll she might pick those apart to make something. And oh, there's really a lot of cool stuff in here. I feel bad skipping over some of it. I'm not skipping over it, but just not showing everything. Okay, little Christmas bracelet. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yes, Cindy, I, I did the jewelry jar right before this, and I thought, I'm going to send, I'm going to do this one with Rose's stuff now, because I know me, and I didn't get to do it before I left for Kerrville. This is kind of a tangle. I should have detangled this, but I want to, I'm trying to get this necklace. There's a necklace in here with a lot of swallows on it, and welcome home, Rand. Thank you. Okay, I, yeah, I can't, I can't. I should have detangled it, sorry y'all. Okay, anything else I'm gonna grab out of here before I move to the next bit? Hmm, okay, it's all really tangled up, so apologies, <laughs> you can't see anything in there. I have got to detangle, because it's got a lot of tangles. But some fun stuff, oh look, Cheshire Cat. Hang on, that's coming out. My mom collects Alice. So that's going to my mom. She collects all things Alice in Wonderland. She turned she turned my old bedroom into Alice's room. The cat is from Cinderella. His name is Lucifer. Ha ha. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, then we've got this apple, like so, and it is marked. It says Hour of Power Silver Anniversary on top, but very. And then the bottom says lead crystal. Like so. Okay. And then, what else have we got in here? Another bag with some cool earrings in it. Oh, there's some green ones like those blue. Pretty stuff. Apologies if I'm going too fast. This is a big box. It is a big box. And, uh oh. Hang on, I'm gonna set that there. I'm gonna look at that for sure. Some more beads. We're looking here. Oh, that's pretty. So here we've got, looks like a brooch and two earrings. These are really pretty. Look at that. Wow, that's really pretty. And it is, oh gosh, okay. I know this brand. Um, It's got the crown. And the fish, and it's probably called Crown and Fish, but I feel like it's something else, but it's not. And they're they're known for this sort of cloisonne style. Um, yeah, it's probably it's probably just called Crown and Fish, <laughs> but I've I've seen it before, and they do cloisonne style stuff. Could I show us some of my personal jewelry collection someday? Yeah, I guess so. You know, why not? Let's see. Sorry, I'm looking through here and see if there's, let's see, we've got some more kind of bits and rings and stuff. I'll let my sister go through some of this to see if she wants any of it for her wind chimes. But there's some more earrings here that look like they are ready for rodeo. Those are cool. <laughs> they are ready. It's rodeo time. Okay. Okay, I wanted to look at this because these look like they could be big. I wonder if this is for me. I wonder if she knows, because I see a rosary in there, too. <laughs> okay. So it looks like another little rosary in here in the little pouch. Let me pull it all the way out. Oh, it's really pretty. Yeah, and this one looks like an older one, too. Like so. And then there's Mary there. This one definitely looks older and well loved for sure. <laughs> for my grandmother, oh my goodness, Cindy says I thought that we chose your fa my favorite pieces for my grandmother. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Are those milk glass beads? It's possible. They feel like plastic though. Yeah, they feel they feel plasticky. They don't feel like glass. Um. Okay, but here. No, this is not, these are not Bakelite, but I believe they are Boone. Because, let's flip it around. 
So we did another, um, in the jewelry group, we did a whole big month of like bone, ivory, celluloid, and these ones, we, I even did a quiz. I was like, I wonder if this will go over very well. So I did a quiz video where I showed pictures and you had to vote on what you thought it was. And then the follow-up video like gave you the answers to what everything was. I thought it was a good idea. It didn't get that many views, but I thought it was a good idea. Anyway, it was fun to make. So these ones, all right, class. I know some of the joy lovers are in the chat. What is it? Do you think it's bone or ivory? And why? <laughs> okay, so these ones, I'll go ahead and tell you. You can see the Schrager lines. That's a hint there. You can see the pitting. You can see the Schrager. No, the Schrager lines are, are not what that's called. The Schrager lines are in the ivory. That's like the parallel lines. Look at me. I'm, I You know me with words. So these ones are bones. <laughs> so you can see the pitting and stuff. The ivory is the one that has the Schrager lines that sometimes go this way and sometimes have the crisscrossy pattern, depending on which way you're looking at it. So it's late. This gal needs some sleep. It's not that late, but it feels like <laughs> when you homeschool, it's seven o'clock is late. <laughs> it starts feeling really late. Ooh, that's a very unusual ring. Okay. This ring looks like it has a razor blade. Luckily, I grabbed it up and it's not really a real sharp razor blade, but it looks like a razor blade. Are you, you're miming food. Are you hungry? You're going to have to wait a minute. <laughs> you think I didn't just take them to eat right before I did this. The dominant, they, they look like dominoes made it to be, oh yeah, yeah. They're mahjong tiles. These ones, if you, they're, if you, there's like a gang, mahjong tiles, yeah. So, apologies for my misspeak on the trigger lines a minute ago. Oh, well. Everybody misspeaks, right? Okay, so here we go. This is a cool bracelet. It doesn't appear to be missing any of the stones. You love the quiz bits? Oh, good, good. Maybe they need to catch on. Try a few more. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I'll have to do that. Because I enjoyed making them. I did. And then the, in the jewelry group, I did a, a couple, like, quizzes for whatever our thing uh, was. So I haven't done one in a little bit, but maybe I need to do another one. Okay, then we've got another bag of bracelets here. And then I also got, because Rose knows how much I love Harry Potter, she sent this in there as well, which is a Harry Potter stationery set. And there, oh, there's some jewelry in there. Ha-ha. <laughs> We have got a charm, a Harry Potter charm. Yay, that's for me. Then we've got, it's like sending me money. Rose, this is so sweet. These collar pins, which I love to sell, because um, these ones I sell for about 20 bucks a piece. So that's awesome. And then, what else have we gotten here? I'm excited about this. What is this? It is a necklace with all kinds of little charms on it. It's got like a little pencil, some glasses, tennis rackets. <laughs> oh my goodness, A plus. The next one is an apple and an ABC, a little book. Like so. This is super cute. Is this one of those that you can change out the, I think so, maybe, or maybe not. Nope. It looks like one of those that you can change out the charms, but it doesn't really open. It looks like it though. Still, that's really cute. It's like for the teacher. Yes. Okay, then Harry Potter. So the little Harry Potter stationery said it's got a stamp. And this is a little photo album. And then down in the bottom, there's a drawer. Oh, if I pull it open, that's got paper in it. Harry Potter paper. Hey. Um, I... Hey, go on and jump how's it going? Okay, so yes, lots of fun stuff from Rose. I think that is it. Of course, there were a few things that I didn't share because it was, it was just a lot of stuff, which, again, I'm so grateful for. Thank you so much, Rose, for sending this awesome box. So much fun to go through. And looking here. Oh, Kaylee. Oh, cool, Kaylee. Okay. All right, so thank you so much for watching, you guys. I know it was a two for today. Um, with the videos, and I'm talking to the guys. If you are into merch, I know some some of my 
So there's not a whole lot of overlap, you know, in our blended family. But if you're into merch, I'm talking to the guys about when we're going to do our merch video. Normally it's Wednesday, but I can't do it Wednesday. So we'll see. Keep your keep your ear to the ground and I'll let you know <laughs> when it's going to be. So um, yeah, go over there, hit the thumbs up, guys. And again, I'd love to have you subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.